All right, kicking off Latin week here at Tennis United, we have Diego Schwartzman and Monica Puig with us and special guest with the most viewed song on YouTube of all time, Luis Fonzi. You set seven Guinness Book of World Records for Desposito, seven. I don't, I don't even really get it. It's just, it's one of those things, you know, I've been doing this for like 22 years and it's just, it's kind of routine, just like, these guys, they go, you know, they go, they work out, they work on their craft, they do the tournaments and you get up and go, you know, you win some, you lose some. And, and that's kind of how it is, how it is in music. You know, I, I get up, I write songs every day and some become hits, some don't. And every once in a while, you just kind of something like this pops up and, and you just go along for the ride and, and you know, you stay humble and, and you stay grateful and you work even harder for the next one. So that's kind of my motto. And speaking of tennis, I heard you were in Acapulco last year and you teamed up with Monica. I want to know a little bit yes. about this. Is have you always played tennis? Is the first time out on the court? I, you know, it, I, I do play a little bit, you know, just very basic. You know, I'm, I don't consider myself a tennis player. I strayed away from it a little bit, but I want to get back into it. And I was I had the honor to have as my double partner, the one and only Monica, so that was, that was fun. Monica, what do you think of his skills on the court? He defended himself really well. I remember yes, asking yes. him what side, like forehand or back. He's like, no, no, I need to take this side because this is my solid what side. Is the, the forehand side, he's like, no, 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 this is this is where I'm going to stay. Yeah, as far as like our swag and our style, I mean, <laughs> we're, we're on point. that's really all that matters. You know, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Diego, and, and you guys, uh, is that where you met Luis as well? Was that in Acapulco? Is that where you guys met? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I met him in, in Acapulco, uh, yeah, what? last year yeah one year ago but uh, yeah it's a big tournament it's, it's it's very nice to have you know the the latin idols luis you have to tell me it was a it was a pretty big deal when monica was playing the olympics and won a gold medal for puerto rico were you following along and were you watching her pretty big deal i mean you're downplaying it you know like for, for, <laughs> i'll let you i'll us, play for, it i'll let i'll let you oh, brag yeah, about yeah, yeah, i'll let you, you brag how about much, both. how much time how much time do we have i mean i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to embarrass her but i mean i know she knows obviously but this was like, this was it for, you know, for Puerto Rico sports, you know, we're a little island, you know, there's barely 4 million of us that, that, you know, that live in the island, but we're very passionate about everything about, you know, sports, music, just, just everything. And, and when she won that gold, I mean, it was emotional. Let me tell you, there was some tears <laughs> coming from, from everywhere, you know, because it, it was, it was really special. So. That's cool. How did that change your life, Monica? That must've been pretty, I mean, pretty insane. You're just kind of like, pinch me, I, am I dreaming? I remember that night, I would wake up every hour just to touch the metal to make sure that it was like real. And I was just <laughs> dreaming the whole thing. Luis, I don't know, I, I'm just gonna throw this out there, but I feel like you maybe need to uh, write a walkout song for, for Mo at some point. You just see me walking on the court, just like shaking. Monica, what are you listening to? Don't worry about it. Hey, hey, I like it. And Diego, tell me, tell me how much music plays into your life. Like, are you one of those players that has your headphones on? It, it's a big meaning walking out on the court with some music. What's it, what's it like for, uh, for you? And what, what music do you uh, get inspired by? Yeah. And is it Latin music or is it what, what kind of music? That's what I'm curious about too. Or is it, is it some old school tango Is it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is it you know, Despacito on repeat? At the beginning, I, I, I was listening, you know, 30 minutes before the matches, uh, more Argentinian songs and more, you know, about Argentina, uh, you know, but many years ago, then I started to listen, just, I can show you, I have my, I have my phone here and, and maybe I can, I can show you in Spotify what, what I have before the matches, it's Spanish, Latin America, and okay. I, I just listen uh, reggaeton, really, I, I love okay. to listen, I put the headphones and I start and, you know, it's good because you, you can song, you can you, you start to move. It, it, it's the, the Latin American, you, you start to move. It's like automatically. You start feeling yourself. You're just kind of like, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we have a little Q&A game for you. Going to be drawing random questions out of hat. And I'm curious to see what you guys come up with. Okay, guys, I'm going to start us off. Random tasks and questions. Monica, I choose you. Okay. <laughs> Why do I have to <laughs> First, ladies You're gonna first. start ladies first, exactly. Okay, so we got one oh, here. God. Do you sing in the shower? And if yes, what is the last song you sang? But I think the last song I jammed out to in the shower was um, I Don't Like It, I Love It by Flo Rida. 
I'm, I'm I really, I really want to hear this. Like, I don't like it. I love, love, love. <laughs> <laughs> Diego, Diego definitely sings in the shower. I don't even need to ask him that. I thought it was... I'm going to the shower thinking, okay, this is time to, to sing. <laughs> You're playing He's like preparing his playlist for I'm the shower. I'm not going to take a shower. I'm going to sing, you know? Diego, this one's for you. Yep. Show us your go-to dance move. Oh! oh! <laughs> I'm really excited. Yes. I'm really excited. He's like, oh, I don't do this. Oh, I don't know oh, how to dance. Like okay, with <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the fishing man, the fishing man. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like your piece of the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh awesome. my god, it's so good. Is that is that is that how you got your girlfriend? You caught her on the on the on the. It takes the the phrase "good catch" to a different level. Yeah. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Luis, yes. this is for you. All right, I'm ready. Have you ever been starstruck? Uh, if yes, who was it and what happened? Twice. I mean, probably many times, but that I completely remember twice. So I'll, I'll go through both of them really quick. First time was when I first started out, 1998. I was recording my first album and I walked into the studio and Mr. Julio Iglesias was there recording Whoa. his album. That's cool. The second time was actually two years ago that I met my all-time favorite artist, who is Stevie Wonder. Um, oh. and that was, that was just like, That's unreal. I mean, I was really, I didn't really know how to, how to, I just really wanted a picture. So I was like, hi, my name is Luis Fonsi, Stevie, how are you? Thank God. He's like, oh yeah, you, you sing that song, Despacito. <laughs> like that song. So he starts That's singing cool. a little bit of it. He's like, Despacito. Like, <laughs> That's so it. cool. No way. That is wow. awesome. That is amazing. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. That's cool. All right. Uh, Mo, you only have one pre-match song for the rest of your career, what is it? Um, I don't know, but I'm probably gonna go back to my song for the Olympics, which was uh, Bicicleta with Carlos Vives and, and Shakira. Oh. That was like the song for okay. the week. And I would listen to it every time I was going on court. It was like on repeat the whole time. All right, Diego, let one of us compose a tweet for you that you have to send out right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Spanish or English? Spanish. Let's do it in Spanish. Okay. Yeah. Are okay. you ready? <laughs> um, eh, eh, ac acabo de perder un juego de tenis contra Luis Fonsi. Okay. What? Translation. I just lost a tennis match against Luis Fonsi. <laughs> <laughs> I can add to that uh, the, the comeback is not going to be easy, you know, or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be easy. <laughs> Starting from scratch. Tennis, tennis. Uh, Diego, you must, of course, hashtag Tennis United on that tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a virtual champion. <laughs> yes. Good match. Good match, Diego. Good match. <laughs> that's going to be that's gonna be a very popular tweet. <laughs> That will, that will probably be your most popular tweet ever. So, Luis, I got one for you, uh, and I'm curious about this one. Have you ever been mistaken for someone else? And if so, who was it? Um, yes, I have. I got mistaken once for, um, I can't really say his last name very good, but it's a Wilmer Valderrama. Oh, okay. The actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got mistaken for him. Yeah. Or they'll mistake, uh, they'll mistake a song. That happens even more. I'm like, yeah, living la vida loca. That was me. Yeah, yeah. Just take credit for it. Living la vida loca. I have a real question for you, Luis. Uh, if you yes. if you feel like you don't have a good singing voice and you actually don't have it, is it something that you can learn? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend here. I'm asking for a friend. If you don't have a singing voice, okay. is it something you can learn and get better at? Yeah, of course. Um, I think most of it you have to be born with it. I mean, that's it, it, but you can polish a lot of it by studying and, and practicing. If you're completely tone deaf, if you can't like, like if I <laughs> sing a note right now and you can't match that tone, it's going to be really, really hard. I'm not saying it's possible. <laughs> um, can we have a demonstration? You put, you put like sing a note or whatever and Bethany, you have to match. I like it. I like it. I'm just going to sing one note. Uh, that's all. You just, one just note. match Let's the go. note. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> la, 
la. There you go. <laughs> Has potential, ladies. There's potential. It has potential, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you cross and you crash the ball and say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, no. When, sure. when she hits a winner, every time she hits a winner, it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Diego. What is the craziest celebration that you have had after winning a match or a tournament? I'm totally be honest, and it's a dance, you know. I'm totally be honest. <laughs> when, I, when I won, when I won my first challenger in Buenos Aires um, in 2012, yeah, I, I I won the final at, at the end. I, I'm I'm going to show. Come on, I like okay. to dance. All so, right, yeah. 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 Okay. It's a good thing that he shot. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, guys, I don't like to dance in front of people. <laughs> I don't like to dance. <laughs> I, I I won the tournament. I I did you know the golf the golf. Uh, I hit like a golf and I did like this and see and I did and I did. <laughs> I like all That's these like, like the fishy Maybe. man the golf swing. All right, guys, so talk about the Latin fans and how passionate they are. I know I've had a few experiences playing in Latin America and it's always pretty intense. So just talk about that a little bit. Literally, it's like a party. It's a blast. And, and it's nice to see how they just really want to electrify everything. And it's just very special. And here is crazy, you know. They, they are like playing the matches. They, they, they are inside, you know. They, they are playing the, the breakpoints, the views, the, you know. It's uh, totally different. So you can find in the people, you know, chances to, to make games, to make, you know, uh, the tennis, the good tennis happen. So it's, it's crazy. They're so passionate. They're so awesome. They're always on point. They're so respectful. But when the show starts, they're just on. Um, and it makes my job a lot easier because they're just, you know, they, I feed off of them. So it's, um, I'm really blessed to, you know, to have them. Okay, guys. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. That was a lot of fun. Luis, great to meet you. Thanks for coming on the show. Monica, Diego, I'm sure we'll see you guys soon. Diego, un abrazo, brother. Un beso bien grande, Argentina. Mucha, igualmente. Monica Boricua, our, our Boricua queen. We love you. Un beso bien <laughs> grande. Te queremos.